Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough 4-2 Go 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 It's for some reason a sky level <laughs> It just comes out of nowhere in the jungle it's just how things go I suppose Yeah le levels don't really follow any sort of theme uh, yeah, these purple mushrooms, they kind of pull, uh, push you off them, I should say. They're really flexible and you slide off them. But anyway, yeah, worlds, they might, they might have a theme, but the levels don't necessarily stick to said theme. Like, um, the desert world had a lot of life and water in it for some reason. <laughs> so it was a thing of that, uh, it was, it's out of place, but yeah, you're not necessarily oh, supposed to kick that life out using the other block. Ah, oh, poopers. Or I could have ground pounded the life and then chased after it underneath here. You know, ground pounded the block to get underneath it. But anyway, as I was saying about the worlds, the worlds might have a theme, but that doesn't mean the levels have to follow the theme. And I like that quite a bit because it's it's showing that um, the designers aren't really caring all that much about a story progression. I guess you could say as you're moving across the lands. And this coin's really risky to get because they're, it's a thing of that the, the, design, the, 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 the designers are focusing entirely on level design and surprising the player rather than uh, making what you would expect. And I, oh, I just barely made it. <laughs> and yeah, I, I definitely like that about games because I'm not, like, stories are okay, but stories aren't, they don't make the game. The gameplay makes the game. Oh no! I need to get in there. It's easier to do this as small Mario. Because mm. I need to hit that. It's got a vine. If you want, you can get five coins, too. <laughs> but that vine leads to coin number three. Way, way up top. Further in the clouds. These are really solid clouds, by the way. Look at that. Super solid. You could, you could put a building on those suckers. <laughs> And there's the last star coin. And oh, clouds got in my way. Arr. And there we go. Poops you out right here. Oop. Mm, careful. Keep your feet light. Don't stay on the mushrooms for too long. You just never know. You're gonna slide off them. Well, they don't. It only happens when when they're really steep. But uh, yeah. All right. That one is complete, and now we can head over to some fresh water in the jungle that you can not that you can touch. It's not polluted or anything somehow. <laughs> As I said, levels don't necessarily follow the worlds that they are in. Look at this. Now we're in an ocean underwater coral and everything, <laughs> which means it's likely salt water. And look out for Mega Unagi! <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. By the way, you can touch those um, caution-like tape fins, but you can't touch its body body. The body will hurt you. Now get ahead of the screen a little bit here, because you need to get up here by the coin. I'll show you where you can touch on the uh, Unagis here, all well, Mega Unagis. Like, you can touch over here safely. Not that big of a deal. Also look out for the regular Unagis. Trying to nip you in the bud. And there we go. Bloop. There we go. Uh, mm, oh, oh, run. Oh, <laughs> uh, that, that coin. Oopsie. I was going to say, this coin down here is not really all that dangerous to get. It's just a matter of touching it and going. Because you're, if you just barely touch the coin, you actually won't be in the range of those little Unagis trying to nip at you. Uh, okay, hit this switch at the very, very last second that you can. E. You'll see why. See, it turned off the current uh, that's coming out of these pipes. Go in this pipe. I need to hit it at the last second in order for you to get in it because you won't have enough time to get due to this auto-scrolling of the screen. And you can't get the coin uh, by going just down through this way. Oh no, that would be too easy. <laughs> the current prevents you from getting the coin from that direction. Alright. And choose your destiny. I'm gonna go down here, away from the fish. Oh, a bad move! <laughs> There's danger everywhere. There's no such thing as a safe spot. So either you deal with the fish or you deal with the eels, which are still kind of a fish. <laughs> if 
Fish everywhere. Fish left. Fish right. Fish above you. Fish below you. It's a fish's paradise. And anything here? Just out of curiosity. Because there's this, there's this alcove here. Ah, there is! Whenever you see like an alcove such as that, they, they like to hide stuff in those sorts of things. You just never know. Uh, <laughs> the ending Goomba is the thing that hits me, of course. Of, of all the stuff at the end of the level there, and I just screwed up that last jump. Boopers! I can't even get back up there. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Woo! And now, since I got two nines, I'll get nine fireworks. Which increases my score and should give me a Mega Mushroom House at the start tile. Come on, come on. Camera move over to the left. Good boy. Yep, Mega Mushroom House. Alright, four dash tower. Four dash tower. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> this is another squishy tower, or at least to start with. Its theme changes though once you get past this door. Just notice that there's lava down below you here. Well, that lava's gonna start following you after you go through this door. Go, 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 up, 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 up. <laughs> Switch, get coins. That's that's kind of mean. They put coins on both sides. <laughs> I don't know if there's any benefit to being on the foreground or the background to this, other than getting coins. It's not like the other um, tower where I had to be on a specific side to get a coin. Um, but here it's a little bit different. You don't have to worry about that, but you do have to worry about lava. <laughs> okay, that coin is behind the grate, so I'm gonna have to be behind them. So, it wouldn't have mattered anyway, I would have had to suicide in order to flip myself on the, on the back side anyway. So, yeah. Uh, I will actually grab- look at that, the dry bones is on top of the- Well, that's not helpful. <laughs> what I should do, actually, is when I get up to the top, is switch over- oh, um, Switch to the fire flower, and then hit the box, because what'll happen is I'll get- um, the best power-up out of it that I can get. Uh, if I would have hit that as regular Mario, I, I would have just gotten a mushroom. Regular or tiny Mario will get you mushrooms. You only get these uh, souped-up power-ups after you are Super Mario. Anyway, I know I gotta flip to that side, which is kind of mean, because you don't know if you need to flip to that side, and why did I try that at first? Oh geez, that could have been bad. I'm gonna switch just because I can here. It feels more comfortable being in the foreground. Uh, e. Okay, I think I need to race up further. Oh, no! I think I had a mini heart attack. <laughs> I mean, I was just barely out of that. In fact, you could actually see the wall push me out of it. Um, I need to get on this side. Come on, let me in, let me in. Let me in, because I don't have much time with the lava on my trail. Good. <laughs> and not sure if it's worth getting the prize from this because of the time you have to get it. Well, I guess so. Uh, before I go in that door, is there anything... Forget it. <laughs> I don't feel like checking anymore. I'm starting to sweat. Bowser Jr., you got something new this time? Of course you do, you've got shells, finally! And you can't jump on it, if you try and jump over it, he'll always do that, so you'll always get spiked. So this time you've gotta do that to hit him. It doesn't really make the battle all that much more difficult, unless you have issues jumping on moving shells, but they're so slow that you shouldn't really have all that much of an issue at it. <laughs> Bloop. There we go. Now, get Princess Peach this time! Get Prince. Get. Oh, you always just watch him. It's every castle, every time, just lets Princess Peach get away. Well, actually, it's, it's gotten to the point, because I use the warps, you don't actually see Bowser Jr. bringing Princess Peach over to uh, the castle because of said warps. Because, <laughs> you know, it would. Uh, because I already reached World 6 and we already seen that cutscene. Um, Princess Peach is already technically at the World 6 castle and whatnot, and yeah, you get what I'm saying here. Uh, wait, that's 4-4. Four, four. Okay, so 4-5 is up there. Kind of usually start from the top and move back down. 
So that's kind of a odd ordering, but ah, whatever. Let's play. Oh, the Wiggler level. Uh, yeah, when you hit a Wiggler, they get all ornery, but they're actually more of a help than a hindrance. Uh, as you'll see you know, when I get to the first star coin over here. Well, actually not star coins, excuse me, red coins. Because uh, you got to use the Wiggler to get the coins, or at least the two high ones. Well, one of the high ones. <laughs> yeah. And I think you're going to have to bounce off a Wiggler to get something in this level, actually. Uh, oh boy. Uh, can I, like, kill it off? Yes! That was a, <clears throat> a great success, because now you don't have to deal with uh, Wiggler in such tight quarters. <laughs> By the way, they, they are uh, fireproof, so don't expect that you're going to be able to kill them off uh, as you please. Um, over here is another one of those obscure sorts of secrets. It's there. Yep. Do not like those sorts of secrets. Just not fair at all. <laughs> and that's the only way you can get that star coin, to my knowledge. Unless, well, maybe you could uh, mini Mario jump up to it. But that's the way I get it, just because it's much simpler than using mini Mario. Uh, oh no! Oh no! Oh, I should be sliding on these slopes, shouldn't I? Because I'd be able to go... Um, like this, Woo! until I get up to there, which I have to stop anyway. Oh, I don't like the looks of that coin. <laughs> okay, we're safe, semi-safe. Oh, whenever you see this many Koopas above each other, they'll give you a one-up once you hit them all in a row. Because yeah, if you hit multiple enemies, uh, multiple times using the same move and the same combo, you'll be able to get more and more points out of it until you get a 1-up. <sighs> oh! So sad. So, so sad. <laughs> just sometimes I just can't get that 1-up. I'm at 88 lives, so I don't think I need it. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Yeah! Alright. Mm, yippers. I'll do one more level here for dash A. Yeah, so I guess this, this is the alternate route since it has uh, letters for its... I mean, letters are placed in numbers. Alright. I thought it was going to be like a, a choice between routes, but no, this is actually the sort of, kind of, I guess, secret route. I always consider the uh, lettered routes more secret because of... Uh, it, it's usually something secret that leads to them, or at least it seems that way. Or you, or there's some sort of requirement to get into them, like, say, a star coin gate. And that's another thing that's really nice to uh, leave those star coin gates um, by not paying for them until you need to save your game, because you'll always have enough star coins uh, to pay for them. Otherwise, you might end up short if you just keep buying your way through them all the time. And I'm going to strategically move myself over. There we go. Yeah, these are the, um, I guess you could call them like Ferris wheel platforms from Yoshi's Island. Uh, I, I really want to get up there. Need to respawn that Koopa. Well, maybe I don't have to. No! I had to. <laughs> but the reason why I want to get up there is because uh, there's a coin up that vine. And yeah, I'd really much, really appreciate getting that. Eh. Alright, now I'm gonna do my item swapping thing. Well, not swapping, I just want to get the best power up from the block. Sometimes I'm too hasty and I forget to do that, but most of the time I'm good at doing that. I mean, I'm, I'm good with doing that, you know, I remember. Alright, so anyway, we're now approaching the doom that befell us. Ooh. Those paratroopers, much more of a threat than they look. <laughs> e, yes! Okay, stay on the edge, get your rhythm up, momentum into the pipe up here. Just make sure you make that jump, you do not want to fail that jump. Um, go up here and time yourself right, otherwise you're going to get a Koopa in the face. There we go, and oh shoot, what you're supposed to do is... Knock the Koopas around, and yeah, I get a- shoot. Of course I shot a fireball by mistake, but yeah, you can get a 1-up out of this place if you only take one Koopa 
and don't use your fireballs. <laughs> yeah, uh, oh, I think I'm actually near the end of the level, but what did we miss over here? I just want to see, eh, can I shoot? No, just out of range, huh? That's the, the vine, I think, well, maybe it's not the vine. Well, if you didn't uh, take that route up there, you'd have to do some vine jumping. It's not that difficult to do since you're above all the Koopas that would be a threat to you. But it is something that, uh, just to make note of if you decide to take that route. Now there's a secret right here. And it leads to Star Coin. Careful. Careful. Don't, don't jump over to the right because you know there's piranhas in there. <laughs> Never trust a pipe. Never trust a pipe. Did you, do you hear me? Never. Repeat it, repeat after me. Never trust, never trust a pipe. Okay, got it, good. Oh, I hesitated. <laughs> ah, never hesitate either when you're trying to get a one-up from a flagpole. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next parts. Save.